Hi guys, Crystal here. All right, I have a daily for January <laughs> the 9th. We will be finishing up our uh, second Christmas for for 2021. And doing, I think we're gonna do some soups and just spend some time as a family hanging out, catching up. And I'm trying to decide, my, my spread for the eighth was super colorful, super bright. But I have all of these delightful oh, Bujo stickers and washies. But I also have my lovely Live Love Posh. And I haven't gotten to use my Obujo yet. And I haven't gotten to use much of my Live Love Posh. So I'm kind of torn right now as to which one to do. Since we're doing soups and stuff, I, I did consider um, doing some, some warm and fuzzy kind of Christmassy idea stuff. I, I know Christmas has passed for most people, but we, we're still getting together as a family to do our second Christmas. So I was just thinking maybe some, some wintry cozy feels. I've been doing a lot with pastels lately. <laughs> so maybe I'll do this one. Maybe I'll do, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to look at my Abuja stickers really quick just to be sure that I want to go with Live Love Posh for this spread. You guys, I have a hard time making up my mind because seriously, I just want to, I want to sticker all the things with all the stickers and I want to buy all the stickers from all the shops. You all are so stinking creative. I'm talking to all you little shop owners and all you designers. You guys are so creative and I just take such great joy in and seeing the things that you guys create and then getting to put them to paper. I take so much joy in that, so much joy. And I'd like to say that I'm gonna use only that Live Love Posh, but I'm not sure. Let me, let's look at the, let's look at some of these Obujo. Some of these black and white flowers that you guys i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the black and white with that um pastel like it's kind of almost sea foam like a sea foam sea foam green blue these are such pretty stickers and i've not used any of them yet mm. I don't know that the Abuja goes well with the, the Live Love Posh. I do know that I have these Abuja have some of these little scenes with like some of your normal everyday activities and stuff. And some not like these are astrological travel adventure type stickers. Just so stinking pretty. I'm definitely going to be doing a spread with those this week. I don't know if it's going to be today or not. But I will be doing a spread with those. So like this. The coffee. The flowers. The books. Sewing machine. Some little kid toys. I don't know, guys. I'm torn. And then all these greens. All these beautiful plants. I do have a couple more Happy Mail spreads to complete. And I'll be working on those. I was really hoping to get them done today. But I just, I ended up re reorganizing my craft room or my creative space and putting up a shelf above my desk so that I would have room for some things and so I could free up some desk space for filming. So I spent a lot of time like prepping my creative space and it took away time from filming and then I did a thing. I went shopping for a tablet. I'm running out of memory on my phone. And I've deleted all the things that I can delete from my phone. So I went shopping for a tablet. 
and I found a good deal on one. So hopefully that will be here soon and I'll be able to utilize it instead of having to delete and run out of room on my phone. Okay, so family Christmas, we've got presents, Santa, Christmas lights. We'll probably do some holiday photos. We're gonna watch Christmas movies if there's any still to be watched. I don't know if we're going to play any games. I would love to. I would really love to play some board games. I I, I don't know if, if you guys have not watched my channel before. I am a board game junkie as much as I am a sticker junkie. But everyone in my... Stickers I can do by myself. <laughs> this I can do by myself. Uh, the board games generally require more than one person. Uh, I do have a few that don't. But I love playing board games as well. All right, yeah, this, these have got some really good options in here for us. So we're definitely gonna be doing some black. It is the season to be jolly. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I really like that. So I could definitely, definitely jazz that up. Okay, let's, we got some flowers. It's New Year's, New Year's Eve stuff. I really like these colors. And it's not presents, it's just peppermints. Guys, I think I might have just changed my mind. Mm -hmm. And I just told you earlier that I don't, when I was filming one of my other videos, I say earlier like I've been talking to you all day. <laughs> I might be a little silly. Um, I told you earlier that I don't, I don't use a lot of red boxes. But I have a feeling that's about to change. This is, hmm, <laughs> and I like the poinsettias, poinsettias. I kind of want to save them for next Christmas though, since Christmas is really like the Chris. I missed all the Christmas spreads, guys. I was down with the COVID, and and I did not have all my stickers yet. So I, I was, I was just down and out, just down and out and I missed all the Christmas spread stuff. So I didn't really get to do it. These are really pretty too. Let's see here. Let me go back here. I'm just getting used to using florals in my spreads too. Florals are not something that I normally use. Okay, so there aren't any boxes in here. I am going to break out Kell of a Plan's box book, I think. The basic, uh, oh, what's the name of it? I have it right here. It's very handy for me, Rainbow Basics. Yeah, I do still really like this cozy too. But I feel like this is going to look cuter next to the other daily that's going to be sitting right next to it. I know that that's weird and probably very silly. Probably very silly. Yeah. These are pretty too, though. And they're not really Christmas Christmassy. They're more just wintry. Oh my gosh, such hard choices, y'all. <laughs> okay, I don't want to keep you guys just hanging out here waiting on me. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to break out the bright. I'm going to, I'm just going to break out the bright. I'm going to break out the bright fun, the bright fun, the bright fun. I have slowly been trying to tempt my friends to join me in this lovely world of stickering. And I gave one of my girlfriends a little mini, a little mini planner the other day. <laughs> and I was like, you don't have, you don't have to use it, but I have a lot of stickers if you want to borrow some. Are you, not borrow, that's, that was silly. That was very silly. Not borrow. But if you want to use some of my stickers. <laughs> She sent me a little Snapchat the other day showing me that she had written in one of the lists because I had already, I had already stickered uh, one of the layouts. 
it was so stinking cute. It was cute that she sent me the, the picture of it. I think, guys, that I'm going to leave these bigger pieces out. I want to save those for my big verticals or my classic verticals. I think I'm, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably go for coffee with my friend on Sunday too, if I don't Saturday. Of course, I might go both days because I don't know if you guys know this about me yet. I love, 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 love coffee. Coffee is one of my absolute favorite things. I don't want to do too much red, so I think I'm going to pull out... I'm probably going to have to get another one of these sticker books. I'm coming for you, Kellogg Plan. I'm coming for you. I'm going to be... I'm going to end up ordering another one of these sticker books. And I know she just released... Uh, she has a new release that came out today, coinciding with the announcement of the Stargazer Be Happy box that is releasing on Saturday, no, Saturday or Sunday? Sunday, September, September. Oh my goodness, y'all. I guess I'm just trying to jump to the fall. I don't, I don't know what's going on with me. Um, so the Happy Planner is releasing their Stargazer Be Happy box on Sunday. Sunday, January 9th, I believe it's 9 uh, Pacific Standard Time, I believe is what the time listed was, and Kelly Plan just released her new sticker book, uh, new floral sticker book, I believe it was, today, so be sure if you get a chance to go out and go out and check that out. Guys, these stickers are so stinking pretty. And I don't really want to cover up. Let's see. This is a Sunday. So, on Sunday, I can look back and do a highlight of the week. So, maybe I can go to my reds here and find that in red. I like that these colors, um, maybe I'll do today's top three instead because we're going to be hanging out with family. Um, I like that these colors kind of coincide. You know, sometimes you have stickers that you want to use and you have to go to other sticker books for um, the stickers that you need. But in this situation, you, you have to go to other sticker books for the stickers that you need, but then the other sticker books, the colors don't match, the reds aren't the same, or the blues aren't the same, or, or whatever color it is you're looking for is not the same. I'm just going to trim this extra white off here. But in these two sticker books, the colors are very similar. I'm not having to go through a bunch of sticker books to find colors that kind of coordinate, which is which is nice. I mean, I'm not complaining about having to go through a bunch of sticker books. I'll be honest, ladies. I love flipping through my sticker books. I love, love, love flipping through my sticker books. I don't mind if a spread takes me, you know, three, four hours. Unfortunately, I just don't get much accomplished when, when I start flipping through sticker books. I get lots of brilliant ideas, but I don't get much done because I'm like, man, I I don't remember seeing those before. I don't remember those being in that sticker book. And I have found that I have to just kind of, I really have to rein myself in when I'm, when I decide that I'm going to work with a, a spread or a certain color. I really have to rein myself in because it's very easy for me to just get all crazy. And end up flipping through a gazillion sticker books and <laughs> and being at it for a minute. So I was gonna trim that one up, but I want to put some turquoise down because I don't want to have just all this red. 
I said I wasn't going to use any of these big ones, but I'm beginning to think I might need to, to kind of ease up so that I'm not just having a full on red spread. Not that I'm opposed to red. Don't get me wrong. Red's pretty, but I don't know that I'm ready for just a hundred percent full on red. You guys tell me, are you, are you guys fans of just full on red spreads? Have you seen any full on red spreads? And if you have, point me in the direction. I want to go look at them. I want to. I want to go get get inspired. Monochromatic blues, monochromatic uh, purples, monochromatic greens, yellows, and pinks. I can get down with those. I've not seen too many monochromatic reds or oranges, for that matter. But I am always, always open to inspiration. That's one reason I love this community so much is because there are... There are just so many creatives out here. Yep, out here just making beautiful things. All right, that's really pretty. I really don't want to get carried away with this. You guys have probably heard me say that I have a tendency to do just that. I'm definitely. Okay. I am going to use this big one, you guys. It's all lollipops and candies. The other one's got books in it. I'll save it. I'll save it for my big spread. So I'm going to stick this big lolly down because I'm not ready for it yet, I don't think. Oh, what did I do there? Did you guys see that? I got a sticker stuck to my... I hope it doesn't tear the page. Nope. Beautiful. All these little tiny scraps. If I don't throw them away, then I end up with them all over my spreads. These little scissors. These cutter bees. I need to clean them. These are really great for cutting around, around scissors, around stickers because they get in those little tiny, just little tiny places. They're really sharp. They've got a little cover. They were recommended by uh, Mary Ellen with Planning with Bumble. Uh, so I'm recommending them to you too because I've tried them and I love them. I do not have a link on my video, but if you go to Planning with Bumble, I believe she has them linked. I might at some point get them linked, but I do not have them linked right now. <laughs> Maybe we can do a big red box. I think so. I think so, guys. I'm going to white that out, that blue butterfly. just going to run my white out tape over it because I don't want it to show through. I don't know that I'm super worried about the blue underneath. I can't really tell. I think it's going to be okay. I think the blue is going to be all right. So I'm just going to pop this down here. Bam. And hopefully it's not crooked. I am guilty of... Oh, that's so cute. What if I just put it like that? I am guilty of making things crooked all the time. I have a tendency. I'm just going to, yep. Yep. I'm just going to trim around the bottom half of this since it's going to be sitting over into that sticker, that uh, box sticker. I should check and see if I've got some washi to put with this. That's what I didn't look for. I don't think I have any reds. I have a turquoise, but I don't know if it's the same turquoise or if it would look good with this. I might have to pull my washi down and take a peek. That was one of my goals that I have put in my my social media planner <laughs> is to remember to use my washi. I forget that I have it. I, I mean, it's beautiful, and I see people using washi in their spreads all the time, and I have lots of Lots of washi options. Not as many as, I mean, I've seen some people with a lot, a lot, a lot of them. 
with a beautiful collection of washi. I have a fair collection. Oh, that is not working that way. Maybe I'll just cut it like this so I can get that big chunk out of my way. Um, I do not have a massive collection of washi, but I do have a fair amount of washi. But I just forget about it. I forget that it's over there. And I just recently moved it up over my head on my right side. So it's still within eyesight, but it's a little further away. It's not down on my desk like handy. So I might have to change that. We're just trying out a new desk layout though right now. Trying out a new desk layout so I have more room while I'm filming. I should have probably just went all the way around that and cut that all the way out. That's what I'm going to do. I have a hard time cutting it at just the right spot so that it doesn't look funny. I'm practicing, getting better. Most of the time I just end up cutting it all the way out. I know I'm not particular about them being crooked, but I'm particular about, <laughs> about the little edges showing when I trim them. Our little nuances, our little, our little weird things. We've all got them. We've all got them. Mm, share in the comments. Have you guys been hit with the COVID? How are your families doing? Hopefully everyone is safe and if they have had it, are recovering well. Um, I think the only lingering effects that I've got now, I, I did lose my taste and smell for almost the entire two weeks I was down. But I did start getting my taste back and my smell back. And I think for the most part, they're pretty good. Like, I, I don't feel like my taste or smell are like super out there crazy. Like, I feel like they're pretty, pretty well returned. I do, however, have trouble sleeping at night sometimes. Have a hard time going to sleep, staying asleep. And I'll be quite honest, I don't know if that's because of the remnants of COVID, you know, that... Uh, what's it called the side effects of having had COVID or if it's because I am just so inundated with creative ideas for stickering and projects and planning and that's why I can't sleep I don't I'm really not sure I know I was up till almost two o'clock this morning and my husband was not very happy with me but I had them I had the day off today so it worked out okay I think he's just not used to me staying up that late. And I was up really, really late. That's not, that is not usual for me. I was going to check for washi. Give me just a minute. Actually, I think I'll just pull it down here. Because I can't really see up here. I don't have enough light. So let's pull it down here. I'm just going to get everything all up in your guys' faces. really pretty sparkly one. Nope, that's blue. What do we got? That is very close. I think I might use that. And some gold. No red. I think gold would be really pretty though with this. It's like a weird gold though, guys. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a very weird gold. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, this, this, I really like this turquoise. I'm going to have to find out where I got it and get some more. This is a really pretty a really pretty washi. It's probably one of my favorites. And I'm I'm really liking these little tiny ones. But I'm running low on this one. You know what would be even cooler than that? Sorry, I keep changing my mind, you guys. Do I want to do black and white stripes with that? I don't know. Or polka dots? I kind of want to do polka dots. I am going to do polka dots. I just decided that. I just decided that, and maybe I'll do some, I got a couple grids here. Will the grids look cool underneath of it? Let's see. Um, I think this grid might, but I, 
I think that one's too tiny maybe to put underneath of it. I don't know. Let's see really quick. Let us, let us see really quick what it's going to look like. I need to start using my working hands to my lotion. My psoriasis is acting up. Okay. Do I like those together? I don't think I do. I don't think I like the fine grid with that. I think if I'm gonna do a grid, it's gonna be this thick one. Guys, I think that's gonna be really pretty. I don't know what made me think to put black with it, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very excited to have black with these colors. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> so there's that, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some black. I, I hope I'm not out of frame. I am still getting, oh, I might have put, twisted that too far. I'm shifting you guys around. I'm still figuring out the filming with a mount. I'm used to just holding the phone in my hand and I can see what's being filmed, but when I tried to have it like right above my head, it did, or not, sorry, not right above my head, but like right in front of me so I could see what it was filming. Um, I realized that you guys weren't able to see the whole, the whole spread, the whole workspace. So then I decided I was going to hang it. So I hung it from the shelf above my desk. I hung it facing downwards. Oh, let's dog on it. Which now makes it to where I cannot see. I cannot see what's being filmed. So I can't see if I'm in frame, if my head's in frame. <laughs> I can't see if you guys are seeing the spread. I'm just guessing at this point, honestly, just guessing. So I am very hopeful that you're able to see the spread. You guys, I really, I'm really liking these polka dots on top of this black and white. I'm going to be doing a black and white spread here again, or not here again, here soon too, for the Happy Planner Challenge, the Happy Planner uh, stick, Sticker Day Challenge that's coming up. I can't remember which day it is. I think Thursday, no, when, no. Maybe it's not the Happy Planner sticker. Challenge. Maybe it's a different one. I've got a couple sticker challenges that I'm gonna that I'm gonna be doing. And one of the one of the challenges involves all the black and white. And you can bet I'm gonna be doing that again. I'm gonna be layering the polka dots and the the black and white grid. It's really pretty together. I really like that. I'll probably be doing some turquoise and purple with it too at some point. This is a great combo. Note to self, purchase more. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it y'all. I'm going to pop that. Pop that turquoise. Do I want to put it in the middle? Oh, I just ripped that sticker. Dad nim it. Dad nim it, dad nim it, dad nim it. Mm. Oh, that makes me mad. I'll have to put something over it now. Shucks. Shucks, shucks, shucks. I was trying to determine if I wanted to put that washi up top. Like, because I, I really kind of want to pull in the turquoise, but I don't know if I want to put it like on the top of the polka dots.
I kind of think. Oh, I kind of think so, you guys. And I'm trying to determine if I want to just cut this strip of washi. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut. that little strip off and hope that it does not tear the paper. I should have cut it before I laid it down and just cut it thinner so I didn't have to worry about the possibility of it tearing the paper. But I think we're going to make out okay. Yay! That is great. I'm going to cut it a little too thin over here. You can see. That's okay, though. So I'm going to stick this up here out of the way because I'll probably use it in a minute. And then I'm going to stick. I really just want to cover that up now. Oh, that makes me mad that I did that, you guys. Mm-hmm. It makes me mad that I, that I done ripped my, my little cupcake. This is going to be really pretty together though. All right. And we're going to cut around this. This is a daily spread. So you guys, if, if you do a daily every single day, it would be a lot. Sorry. I can't see what I'm doing. It would be a lot to do this kind of detail on a spread every single day. Like if you don't have time to do it, I would not decorate a daily like this every single day. I just wouldn't do it. But I only use the dailies to document special days as a kind of a memory keeping tool. So for me, it's not, it's not a huge thing because I'm not decorating these every day. These are, these are once in a while decorations for me. They are not everyday decorations. Okay. So in order to repair my, my little cupcake snafu, I am going to grab these guys that are all paired together. Let's see. Yep. I'm going to cut that one out and I'm going to put it right there on that cupcake. You betcha. That's how I'm going to repair my my snag. So you guys just remember that just because you tear something or you snag something or it doesn't line up 100%, like this is your planner, your journal. This is your work of art and it's beautiful because you created it. It doesn't it doesn't have to fit anyone else's standards. And oftentimes our mistakes turn into to beautiful I don't know the word I'm looking for. They just turn into beautiful accidents. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. That's really cute, you guys, and really fun. Really, really cute, really fun. <laughs> okay, let's get some, some, where's my turquoise? Some turquoise. Get some turquoise back over here. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to use a small box. Maybe. No. We did today's top three up here. I might have to pull out some quotes from a quote book. I don't really want to add gold, though. <laughs> just a minute, guys. I'm, I'm debating. So I'm going to pause for a second because I don't want to just keep recording while I'm trying to figure things out. Okay, you guys. So I got out my Happy Planner Essential Planning book. I just recently got this at Joann's. Yeah. And so this is what I was looking for. I was looking for some of the clear stickers because I didn't want to have to cut the white around it because I want to lay it on these washies. 
And since we're celebrating Christmas on Sunday, I'm I'm gonna do some sticker surgery. I told you this is something that I do a lot, you guys. I do a lot of sticker surgery. I, I cut things to say what I want them to say, and I cut boxes to look the way I want them to look. I'm I'm a master sticker surgeon. Okay, maybe not a master sticker surgeon, but I am a sticker surgeon. That's <laughs> No degrees or anything, just self-taught, self-taught. So I'm gonna cut off the Eve portion of this because it's not gonna be Christmas Eve for us. We're gonna be celebrating Christmas, celebrating Christmas. So what I'm gonna do, oh, Come back here is not drop it so that it gets stuck on other ones and gets ruined. Guys, I'm a mess. I'm telling you. Here we go. Get down here to this. Okay, so we have these beautiful celebrates. I knew that I had a sticker book somewhere that had some of these little clear stickers. I love the clear stickers. Don't get me wrong. I love the matte stickers because I like to write. But I love these clear stickers because it gives me the opportunity to not have to cut around all the white stuff. And then I just press down really, really hard and rub around to make sure that they're sealed on there good once I get them. Yes, I'm loving it. Loving it, you guys. That is so pretty celebrate Christmas. All right, I'm going to cut out some more of these little bad boys, these little peppermint patty, peppermint disc things. I find this therapeutic, even the cutting. I know some people would find this tedious, but I find it therapeutic. So I I think I'm going to put like a little bunch of those up here in that corner. Yes. Yes, yes. Maybe not a little bunch. I'll probably put two. <laughs> I guess two could be a little bunch. Depends on who you ask, right? Two could definitely be a little bunch. This spread is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I should pull that one up and layer it on top. Okay. This is my problem. I I like to pull stickers back up after I put them down because I decide I want to. Yeah, not gonna happen. I decide I want to layer them. I need to I need to start just using wax paper. I know a lot of people will use wax paper to kind of lay lay their stickers down. I don't know, guys, where I want to put that. I kind, of, I kind of wanted it up here in this corner. Maybe I'll just do right off the top edge. And then I'll just cut it. Maybe that'll make me happy. <laughs> because I'm so, it's just so difficult to please me sometimes. So are you guys super particular when you put down stickers in your planners? Or do you guys just kind of... Just gonna go with the flow. I would be interested to know how that is for everyone. See, and I did not cover up that little strip where that washi did not line up. That's gonna kind of bother me. I'm not gonna lie. That is kind of gonna bother me, guys. And I don't have my tweezers out here either. I should probably get them out. I can line that little piece up on the edge of that. There. All right. Then we'll do one more of these little pepper minis down here on the bottom corner. And then I'm going to put down some lines and I'm going to date this, you guys. And I'm going to call this one good. I'm going to tell myself to stop. But I do not need to cover the whole page with stickers because I'm going to do more spreads today. 
I'm gonna keep stickering, but I don't have to put them all on this page. I'm gonna tell myself that it's okay. I do not need to put all the stickers on this page. Oh, I'm hoping that I'm staying in frame enough for you guys. I may have to adjust my mount. I'll see after I watch the video. I never watch the whole video though before I post it. Oh, look what I'm gonna do, guys. I never watch the whole video. I usually just post it. Like I, I kind of breeze through it to make sure that everything's flipped the right direction, and then I, and then I post it. I don't generally watch the whole video, so I'm not always aware. I guess if it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. There's some washi up here at the top. Or should I do polka dots the opposite? Um, maybe I'll do the polka dots the opposite polka dots. Um, yeah. So some, sometimes I just don't know. Sometimes I do not know. Let me move this. Um, I do red up here and teal down here. Or maybe I should just stick with these two. What should I do? I'm very confused, guys. I kind of want to put, yeah, I do. I really want to put this little thin washi right here. It's so pretty. Oh, I love, I love polka dots too. That's, I mean, something else you guys probably didn't know about me. Unless you're my close friends. My close friends know that I love polka dots. And now you guys do too. Now you guys do too. I've got a couple more uh, Happy Meal spreads to work on. I'm, I was just taking a break from them. I feel like there's a little more pressure on those <sighs> because I'm I'm trying to create something for someone else and I don't really know them that well and I want it to be something that they can use. I mean, it's a planner, right? So I, like, I want it to be something that they'll actually use and that they enjoy. So I just, I feel like there's a little more pressure when it comes to making spreads for, for others. I enjoy it though. Don't, please don't get me wrong. Don't mistake, don't mistake that. I, I enjoy creating spreads for other people. It's delightful to be able to create something really pretty and, and give it, gift it to someone else. But it does, it, it does make me a little nervous. Not that I'm going to be upset if they don't like it, because, I mean, you know, you like what you like, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. You guys, I really like that little, that little black washi up top. I'm kind of in love with this page. I'm not going to lie. I wish I had done it on my big one. Don't be surprised if you see another peppermint, <laughs> peppermint patty fiasco happening on... My big, my big memory planner that I'm getting ready to do too. I've got to do that for the next week. So don't be surprised if you see that because I am, I'm really loving the, uh, the peppermint patties and the black and black and teal. Okay. Let's see here. I think I'm going to hopefully I can cut around this. There I go with that whole perfection thing again too, you guys. It's like an incessant need. I could have just moved that sticker up higher instead of thinking that I needed to lay it down and cut around. But, I, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. What do you guys think? Should I layer another piece of that washi at the bottom down here? I'm thinking maybe just from here over. I'm just wondering if it's going to be too much. No, it's going to tie it together. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to tie it all up.
tie it all up in a pretty little package. Tie it all up in a pretty little package. I could even probably run it across that red, honestly. It would be really pretty. I'm not gonna though. I'm gonna cut it off right there. Stopping it at the block. Do you guys use washi in your spreads? I know that I'm not actually talking to you, but I really am looking forward to reading your comments <laughs> and knowing if you if you are more of just a sticker person, if you're a functional planner, or if you like washi, or if you don't like washi. I'm just very interested to know these things. Guys, this is one of my longest videos. I'm, I need to hurry too, because my phone's gonna run out of memory. I cleaned a bunch of stuff off to make room so I could chitty chat with you guys more. <laughs> But I do not want to run out of, I, I really just kind of want to leave it like this. But I feel like it needs some blue down here. Maybe I should just do a piece of this washi on top of the, 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 the on top of this. What do you guys think? What if I just do that? Oh, I didn't lay that on there very well. Yeah, what if I just seal that up like that? I'm going to put that down, and then I'm going to pull back and take a peek. See what I think. This is really pretty, you guys. I really like this one. I really, really like it. Oops. I got something going on there. All right. I don't, I don't want to get too crazy here with it. I'm, you know what? I'm going to call that good, you guys. I'm going to call that good. Okay, the Essential Planning Happy Planner. We got Rainbow Basics by Kell of a Plan. And I finally got to break out again my Winter Wonderland by Live Love Posh. These, these small sticker companies, loving, loving, loving the product. Uh, I, I just need to stop spending, you know, that whole no-spend January business. <laughs> And then I go and buy a tablet. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I'll see you guys again soon. Ciao.